On this week's edition of Chocolate Factory Shenanigans, we have a 42-inch Panasonic Lancelot, model F4225. This is a white and antique brass model. As you can see, ah, it's got stencil. Hmm. Don't see Panasonic stencil all that often. Oh. What else does it have? Tazzle! A nice golden orange pull cord. If we turn the fan around. You see the logo. Fan dates to December of 1984, and I believe late 1984 is when they switched from a tall bell canopy to this silly ball socket monstrosity. Yeah, it uses a stamped steel mounting bracket. Now, Panasonic knew this mounting bracket had to have been weak. Maybe it was recalled, but it has a swinging cross member that bolts into place. It also so it keeps the ball in, in case you think gravity seems to, you know, not be a thing. Where it just floats around. Ooh, it's going to get out of the hatch. Got to get out of the socket. Uh-oh. But it's, it's secured with a swinging cross member, which also holds the mounting bracket together as an element of strength to it. So. That's what's going on with that. The motor is the same size as the 52 inch models. It fills the housing. It is cast aluminum and I want to say it's open-ended or somewhat skeletal because there's a stamped steel cover plate on top of it. On Panasonic's model range, the Lancelot was their take on a knockoff of the Hunter original. As evidenced by the elongated switch housing. Because every other Panasonic has a big, fat, chunky switch housing, whereas this one... Nope. The fan was ava these fans in general were available in polished brass or bright brass, antique brass, and white in antique brass, but I also think white and bright brass may have also been a thing. We have seen, I believe, one surface. But white and antique brass was their white option. There was no solid white. I don't think ever in the Panasonic lineup. Which is a bit odd. This fan came to me new in box off of Panasonic Mountain, which is a mountain of Panasonics in some basement in some place of which the details which are, of which are secret. So I just call it the Chocolate Factory because it's full of mmm eye candy. Anyway, now let's see how this fan performs. Starting on low. Panasonics are known for aesthetic lows. Just as Fasco is. And I'd say this fan meets that criteria, wouldn't you? It's a nice low speed. 
it's on the borderline between aesthetic and actually useful, so it, it's decent. Now, when it comes to Panasonic Mountain, it's mostly Lancelots. Mostly 52 inch. I saw one 42 inch and I thought, hmm, this is different. I think I want one. So, it became mine. But there are also some Galahads. There are some Knights. There are some King Arthurs. I don't know if there are any Excaliburs or whatever they called the Flush Mount Lancelot, but. Eh. Anyway, let's go to medium. Medium's pretty decent, pretty average. Another thing worth noting is that so far the fan is wobble free. Blades are solid wood. It's a very nice fan. Panasonic's fans were made by Matsushita Electric Company based out of Japan. Their corporate headquarters in the United States is located in Secaucus, New Jersey. Because of course it had to be in New Jersey. Panasonic didn't innovate very much. In fact, they didn't innovate at all. They had the same line of models until the end, until they decided to pull the plug on their U.S. operations, or at least their U.S. sales. They still make and offer fans, just not in the U.S., only overseas. So, yeah, they had just white and antique brass, polished brass, antique brass, the same models, all pretty dated by the late 80s. Because by the mid to late 80s, companies were going into, you know, making fans in every color imaginable, contemporary designs. Panasonic did not do this. You know the old saying, the old phrase, adapt or die? Well, Panasonic decided to die. So, this is pretty sad though, because Panasonics are pretty decent quality. And they're damn near silent. Anyway, let's go to high. Vibration in the housing. If anything, the motor has a has a low pitched startup moan, low pitch, but low frequency, not very audible, and it has an ever so slight wobble on high. Ever so slight, really negligible. It is said that Panasonic ceiling fans and KDK are all made by the same OEM, just with some differences. Because the earliest Panasonics, say the model F5250 that people want, that one is basically, it has a lot of KDK traits, like the 3 8 inch down rod, for example. And a pull cord coming out instead of a pull chain. Speaking of which, an interesting thing to note here is the fact that the pole chain's not brass. It's steel. It's just raw steel.
Most full chains are of this era were brass or brass plated steel. So, a little weird, but whatever. One reason Panasonics are so quiet is because the low speeds, the secondary speeds are capacitor based. Back when companies were going cheap, using motors with coil taps, which are inherently louder, buzzier, you know, not as good of quality. During that time, yeah, Panasonic was doing capacitor-based lower speeds, which was good. Very good. I mean, during the same time, Emerson, the 1895 series, those are coil taps. All right, three and four speeds coil taps. That's why those motors are hummy. That's why those motors are buzzy. Coil tapped speed motors are generally noisier than capacitor or you know, low with. They're they're louder than motors that use capacitors for the lower speeds. Because when it boils down to it, the fan motor here, and this fan is single speed by default with capacitors to make the lower speeds so you get a quieter result. Anyway, let's let it coast. We see 52 inch Lancelots pop up relatively often. They're the most common of the Panasonics. But the 42 inch size doesn't pop up as often. You don't see them that much. Panasonics in general aren't that common because they just didn't sell as well as other brands and that's probably one of the reasons why Panasonic or not Panasonic but Matsushita pulled the plug on the US market. Again, I believe that was sometime around 1990 but I could be wrong. And there you have it. A 42-inch Panasonic Lancelot white and antique brass with stencil.